power synth in every sense of the term, KV331 Audio's Synthmaster has long been an essential inclusion in any electronic producer's plugins folder. A superlative instrument since day one, Synthmaster has seen numerous updates over the years, each one boosting the feature set significantly. And version 2.9 is no exception, adding far deeper wavetable functionality and an online preset store, tidying up the modulation system, and more. In this video, we'll take a whistle stop tour of Synthmaster 2.9. To try it out for yourself, head to www.synthmaster.com and grab the demo. The biggest changes made to Synthmaster for version 2.9 involve its two all important oscillators. First of all, the number of unison voices available to each has been doubled, from 8 to 16, enabling bigger, richer, raw tones than ever before. The headline story, though, is the upgrading of the Wavetable Oscillator mode, giving it parity with its equivalent in Synthmaster 2.9's sister synth, Synthmaster 1. Where previously up to 16 single cycle waveforms from the built-in library could be strung together into a wavetable, now you can load up to 256 waves into a table from the greatly expanded internal library or your own external sources. The Factory Wavetable Library is still accessed via the Wavetable Panel's right-click menu and now includes all of the Wavetables from Synthmaster 1 alongside the previous options. Helpfully, the wavetable can be viewed as a waveform or spectrogram in 2D or 3D. To import your own wavetables, drag them in from your operating system's file browser, either individually or in folders. The first wavetable in the set will appear in the wavetable panel, and all of them are added to the user category of the selection menu for future usage. Step through them using the left and right buttons in the wavetable display. Similarly, samples and multi samples can also now be loaded into the basic oscillator type via drag and drop. Synthmaster is a monster when it comes to modulation, but there's always been room for improvement to the navigation and management of sources and targets. 
while Synthmaster 2.8 saw marked improvement over earlier versions with its highlighting and repositioning of tabs in the Mod Sources section, 2.9 at last boils the previously scrolling list down to six menus, one for each modulator type. ADSR envelopes, multi-stage envelopes, voice and global LFOs, key scalers and 2D envelopes. Click a modulator type and select the specific modulator you want from the menu that appears, then drag the name block onto the target parameter as before. No more scrolling left and right to find that elusive LFO. Also, clicking a slot in the modulation matrix now automatically selects its modulation source in the main interface, and every modulated parameter knob is now marked with an ever-present grey collar, regardless of matrix source selection. Synthmaster 2.9 offers direct access to KV331 Audio's online preset store, enabling collections of patches to be bought and installed from right within the instrument's interface. To open the store, enter the browser page. In the bank section, there are now three view filter buttons, Installed, Purchased and Show All. The first lists all your installed preset banks, the second lists those that you've previously bought, and clicking the Show All button reveals the full contents of the KV331 Audio store, where you can browse the available preset expansions and buy them individually. Select an expansion in the browser to see various details of it, including its price and the number of presets it contains. Click in the Audio Demos area to launch a SoundCloud page in your browser, showing off the sounds. If you like what you hear, click the Buy Now button to launch the payment page in your browser and fill in the necessary contact and card details. Having done the fiscal deed, right-click the Banks list in Synthmaster and select Refresh My Licenses. A dialog pops up asking if you want to download the expansion now. Select Yes to download and automatically install your new presets, or No to do it later by clicking the Download button that now sits underneath the expansion in the browser. That's the really big stuff covered then, but there are a couple of other notable enhancements to mention before we wrap up. Drop-down menus now feature left and right arrow buttons that appear when moused over. Click these to step backwards and forwards through the contents of the menu without actually invoking it. And last but not least, the Tranquil Blue skin added in Synthmaster 2.8 can now be used at 100, 120, and 160% scale settings. So that's Synthmaster 2.9 in a nutshell. It's a free update for registered users, and everyone else can download the demo and buy the full product at www.synthmaster.com.